And good morning everybody. Silas back today. It's beautiful out here. Boy, I mean just absolutely beautiful. It's about 65 degrees. Just perfect working weather. It's been a really good morning so far. I did sleep in a little bit unfortunately. I didn't mean to, but I didn't wake up till 6 30 this morning. So I kind of got a little bit of a late start to the day. That's what happens when you stay up till midnight and one o'clock day after day after day. Eventually your body's like, nope, you're not going to run on three hours of sleep tonight. You got to get at least six or seven. But anyway, I got out here. The shipping company showed up on those two old trucks. Then I got the first load of cars out. Hopefully I'll be able to get at least two, maybe three more loads out today. They are doing DOT checks right now this, this week. I think today, tomorrow, and the next day where they're pulling over trucks at random. So uh, he's probably not going to drive quite as fast as normal. And I don't know if he speeds anyway, but it's probably just going to take a little bit longer in between loads. So we may only get two more loads out today. All of that is done now. And so I have got to start crushing cars. Uh, they're going to get out however many loads they get out today, and then they're going to haul again on Thursday. And so I have to have some more loads on the ground to be ready for that. Plus, I want to start trying to stockpile some loads for next week as well. This is why you don't run stop signs. Just like that. Fits like a glove. I think I have Two more bales? One or two more bales? I don't remember now. So uh, hopefully I come across another minivan here fairly soon so I can get these all gone. I think I see an explorer over there that'll work. Yeah, they go right in there like that. When you crush these loose, sometimes the wires break, they explode, they make a giant mess. And so what they want me to do is they want me to stick them inside of a vehicle. We used to buy these all the time, but we had such a hard time selling them and it was such a fiasco trying to sell them and get trucks lined up that we finally just quit buying them. When they're small like this, we can crush them in the cars, but I can only crush them inside of cars that they fit in. So it's kind of a pain have to do this with every one, not really worth the effort. So we probably, maybe in the future we'll buy them again, but for the time being, we're done. I got the second truck loaded. The first truck weighed just under eight, uh, yeah, 18 tons, just under 18 tons. This load here had a lot fewer cars in it, but two of those cars were the ones that were stuffed clear full of 455 big blocks and that Pontiac straight eight and a bunch of other transmissions, a bunch of engines. So it was a pretty heavy load, I think, even though there was only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight cars. I don't remember how many were in it, but not very many. I won't find out what it weighs till later, but I'll be sure to let you know. That's load number three for the day. You think he's gonna have time for one more load. So I will be able to get that in. The uh, previous load weighed just under 18 tons. They've been coming out about 18 tons all day today. This in here may only be more like 17. It might be 18, but it just didn't feel quite as heavy. So I think it's gonna be a little bit less.
Well, I've got bad news. He got that load unloaded, was getting ready to head back, and he discovered that he had a tire head blown out. And like I had said earlier, they're doing uh, inspections right now, so he didn't want to risk it. So he just went ahead and turned around and went back to the yard. We only got three loads in today, that means so, and the third load weighed just under 18 tons once again. All three loads today weighed almost identical. They'll be back on Thursday. I've got three and a half, almost four loads on the ground ready to go. So I really don't have to crush anything. But what I've been kind of doing for the last hour or so is just processing cars, getting cars ready, and stacking them around the crusher. That way the next time I start the crusher, I can just boom, 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 crush a whole bunch. What I've got to do now is I've got to get in the back of this truck here and I've got to dig out a couple old tractor fenders. This is the truck from that auction I went to a while back with those airplanes. If I can hop up here without falling, oh, I'm on the wrong fork. I need those two tractor fenders right there. I bought those at the sale. I think I gave... I want to say I gave $15 or $25 or something like that for them, and I just sold them for $125, so that's pretty good. The guy's coming from Wichita to get them. There we go. I just balanced them here on the fork so I don't have to carry them all the way back up there. They're kind of neat. They're kind of embossed right here. I don't know what size they're off of. Probably a 600 and some series. I'm just guessing anyway. It could be seven or 800 series. I really don't know. But I figured worst case scenario, I could always sell them for art, but he's actually buying them to use them. This is a complete side note and totally random, but I just discovered that these right here, I forget what they're called, but those are actually edible. So, I don't know, I wanna do some more research before I eat them, because I've never I've never known that before, but they grow everywhere out here, there's thousands of them. But uh, if that's true, then I may have to make me some tea out of those. I just crushed car number 150, that one up on top back there. That was car number 150. I'm working up in here again, and I just got it open all the way out through that, to that other field. I'm really glad we managed to break through over into here because here in a couple of days, I've got to go pick up a bunch of cars, and I got nowhere to put them. So I wanted to break through into this field so I can just put all the cars up here for now. I bet I scared a few of you right there when I put those two in the crusher. I like to take photos of old vehicles in the crusher. It's just something interesting I, I like to do. <laughs> but no, both of those are sold. They're headed out. Both of those, uh, the International is really rusty just because there was a, some fertilizer stored in the front seat or something like that and it rusted out the floor, the passenger door, uh, the dash is all rusty. And so it's pretty rough up in the front seat, but the back seat, the back doors, all the crew cab parts are still good. So what he's thinking he'll do on that one there is he has a really good just regular cab and so if you were to take a regular cab and cut the back of it off and graft it into that cab and cut the front of that the crew cab off graft the two together you can make one good one then the chevy he's going to try to get it running and he's just going to resell both of them i'm sure he might keep the international he's not sure yet but more than likely he'll wind up selling both of them and then i just picked up this cadillac right here it's a 1972 let's check it out it's got the uh four four seven is it a 472 452 i don't remember now like my brain's slipping. I don't buy that many Cadillacs of this era. But uh, the roof is super rusty on this. And so these are good derby cars. Really good derby cars. But this one here just happens to be really rusty. So 
probably too rusty for a derby car. But the guy that just bought the crew cab and the Chevy is interested in this one here. He said he could take it home, part it out. It's got good bumpers on it. Some other parts he could sell. The motor will sell. Lots of other good trinkets, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell it to him. I'm not making much on it, but it's, once again, a quick flip. I'll go back here and show you what progress we made. I didn't get a whole lot more crushed this afternoon. I had a lot going on. A lot of people came out. Stay tuned. Next video. Well, more than likely, it's going to be the next video, but this car right here is going to get the squeeze. I think that'll make a pretty cool video. But anyway, we've got quite a few loads on the ground now. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half loads or so. And with what I have ready to go, I can get probably eight loads on the ground pretty quick although they are going to haul tomorrow so i will probably ship out three or four of these loads yes this one still has aluminum wheels on it i could not get those things off they're super rusty and they're way over torqued and i hammered and hammered and i got a couple of lug nuts off and i thought you know what it's just not worth the extra effort but now i'm all the way up around out into that field i started cleaning this pile out here i didn't quite get it done i think i have uh three four cars over there an air compressor and a truck frame and then I've got three cars left right here. Yeah, I got quite a bit of room up in this area to put stuff. There's a trail that goes through the trees right there that goes over to another clearing. I want to try to leave a path open to where I can walk and go through there. Then I can come through here and I'll have everything lined up to where I can still get all the way through here so I can ride my bike or if I get a side by side or something like that. We've got a few cars in here. I've got this Mustang and this uh, Cordoba or whatever this is here. I was thinking about saving them. I know parts of these are probably fairly hard to find. This Cordoba even has an AM FM 8 track in it. But uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and crush this one for sure. I'll probably pull the radio out of it. But uh, once I get the radio out, it'll get the squeeze. The Mustang, I'm not sure yet. The uh, grill's gone. If the grill was in it still, I would try to chop the nose off. But the rest of the car, I don't know. I thought about slicing the sides off of it, but it's clear full of iron. So maybe we'll just make a crushing video out of that next week or something like that. More than likely, that's what I'll do. I mean, there's no no good parts. I mean, there's some good parts left on that, both of these really, but I just don't have time to do it all. Then most of these farm trucks up in here are still complete, so I'm just not even going to mess with those. I'll just leave those like they are. In theory, what I think what I'll do is once I get my fence built over here, is I can take some of those farm trucks that are still complete and go ahead and line those up against the back row over here. I don't want to bury them too far in case I sell one of them and I have to be able to get it back out but I can get quite a few in here at least. And I'd like to, if possible, keep a road open that circles through here and goes back out that way. That's kind of what my plan is, especially once that trailer house is gone. I'll have quite a bit of room in here once this is all organized, but that's all for another day. But overall, I'm really happy with the progress I made this week. Last week, I hardly got anything crushed. I shipped a lot of cars out, which speaking of which, I did the math and I think I've shipped uh, somewhere around half a million pounds so far about 250 tons give or take so that's pretty good uh, they hauled off about 150 wheels today and 100 the other day so that's about 250 wheels i've already pulled off probably another 30 or 40 today after they left so at this rate we're probably going to have close to 500 wheels out of here maybe even more than that it's hard telling but i think i'm about a third of the way done so it's looking like when it's all said and done at this rate anyway we're going to have somewhere around 1.5 million pounds that's not bad and it's hard to believe i've shipped out that much stuff and I still have real congested roadways and there's hardly any room out here. I mean, there's still more room than there was, but still not that much. But once I start getting into the actual rows of cars and picking and choosing which ones I'm going to save and keep, that's when I'll start making the big room. But that will be in a future video. I am done with this one. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there, find an adventure. We'll see you next time.